think they know. I got it, 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 I got it. You know what I'm talking I got it, 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 I got it. My favorite part of recording is the end when I show you guys the end product because it's like, woo! What is up you guys? It is Shaw coming to you guys again. I got another good look for you guys. This is going to be a talk through video. I actually really enjoy doing that only because I really don't like um, in videos where I don't tell you guys what I use because a lot of times it's tedious to try to read every product that's used down below. I mean I'll still put them down there but I just like to kind of tell you guys what I'm doing and how I'm doing it because I feel like not everyone does their makeup the same and so to get tips and tricks from people doing their makeup different ways and just seeing the steps that they use to get a successful look is helpful so I want to help you guys out well this look comes from the Naked Smoky palette and the Kylie Jenner Burgundy palette shout out to my sis for letting me use a palette look at this palette guys my sister got this for Christmas and I begged her to let me use it in a video and she was so nice to let me do it so I beat face okay I beat face with this y'all and I am super excited to just show you guys what I use and I actually kind of um don't know what I was going to say so I'm going to stop talking I just want to show you guys this look that I got going on keep watching if you want to see it oh subscribe to the gang gang subscribe to the gang gang y'all I don't know how many times I can say this to y'all it's going to be lit on my channel this year I have a lot of great videos coming your way and I want you guys to be a part of it. Why not? Join the crew. It's lit over here. It is lit over here, okay? Make sure you thumbs this video all the way up. As well as comment down below what you think. I don't really know um, why I have so much energy right now. So I'm just going to get into the video because I feel like I'm being mad spastic. Keep on All right, so I'm starting off this look by taking my Benefit Boy Concealer in the shade 3. And I'm using that to set my eyeshadows I'm going to just apply that with my fingers onto my lid and then I'm going to set it with my benefit powder in the color honey make sure that my eyeshadow goes on sleek and comes out nice and bright so I am taking penny from the Kylie Jenner burgundy palette and using it as my base color for my crease like I said circular motions up towards that brow bone we do not want to get it on our lid if we can help it so for my main crease color I'm going in with the color brick from the Kylie Jenner burgundy palette and I actually love this combination together I feel like I use this all the time for every day so I like how it comes out really nicely in here and I guess show you guys my go-to eyeshadow crease colors I like to say So I am going back over my crease with my base color so that we can make sure there are no harsh lines. It is important that you always blend. You want your makeup to always fall back into that base color. So make sure that you are constantly blending it out into that base color. So to get ready to do my lid, I'm going to make sure that I redefine the shape of my lid with my Boink Concealer. And then I'm going to once again set that with my powder. Like I said, make sure those colors come out nice and beautifully and I'm going to be taking Dirty Sweet and High from the Naked Smoky palette for my lid color. I love the combination together. It is so pretty and I like the way that it looks in this. So what I'm going to do is pat, not swipe. We are lightly patting on High from the Urban Decay Smoky palette first. Like I said, we're going to make sure it's on there, make sure it looks nice and pigmented, and then we'll add bittersweet on top to blend it all together.
So I'm taking my Devone Hydrating Mist and I'm going to lightly spray my brush. And then I'm going to take a separate brush and put my Bittersweet on top. And I spray the brush before I use this color to make sure that you can see it in its like real natural form. Nice and beautifully shimmery. I want to make sure you can see it nice and pigmented. And when you wet your brush a little with some type of setting spray or whatever you like to use, I wouldn't recommend using water. But like I said, just wetting your brush um, really helps it pack on a lot better. And you can see the color a lot better. And you see that bittersweet and high combo is flourishing, flourishing. And once again, you can see I'm going back through and blending my colors out. Like I said, you want to make sure everything goes back into that base color. I cannot say that enough. You do not want harsh lines. Blend for your life, boo. Blend for your life, boo. And I forgot to record this part, but I do take bittersweet and high into my brow bone. So if you see my brow bone go from flat to yes bay, that's what I use. I use the excess from my brush, and I put that into my brow bone. So, now it's time for those eyebrows. I'm using my Cabrow Gel in shade 5 for my brows. This is a benefit product from their eyebrow collection and it is so amazing. I freaking love this. These make my eyebrows look so good. I just fill them in. They look so natural. And I just have so many brilliant things to say about it. Like, I use this all the time. If y'all follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. You will see I use this all the freaking time. All the freaking time. It is my go-to right now. And I tried to do the best that I could to show y'all how I do my brows. I just start off with the bottom row, making a tail, and then using my brush sideways to use the excess to fill in my brows. And that's just what I do. And then I take a spoolie brush and I make sure the ends look nice and full so it doesn't look like my brows randomly start. If that makes sense, but I do not want to make them look boxy, so I just naturally use my spoolie to blend the excess color out so that it looks like a gradient for my eyebrows. It makes them look super fleeky. I don't know if that makes any sense to y'all, but as you can see in my video better than I can explain it. Chris said this sounds like a twerk song. It does, bro. And let me just tell you, from me, this is not a twerk song. So I am taking my Sephora foundation in the shade 50. You can call it deep or mocha, whichever one you want to call it. And I am using my elf stippling brush to lightly put that all over my face this is a full coverage foundation i only need one layer of it thank goodness i hate too many layers of foundation i feel cakey so i like to this is completely full coverage and i really do not need two layers i just two pumps and i put it all on and for my highlight i use the hello floss oxygen wow foundation in the color honey like i said this is also a full coverage foundation so i just dot this on into the areas i want to highlight and then i take my beauty blender with some devone hydrating mist on it and blend it out
Or our team's got a link. I'm trying to have fun. Ask me what do I think. No point in being bad if your attitude stinks. I'm serious. Different, got them all curious. You hit so loud, hope the neighbors ain't hearing us. Jump in the crowd, too drunk, delirious. Haters can't get in, they outside furious. Too bad, oh well. Like sweet hotel. She want to take a vine, get a clip like a toenail. You're standing in the line, VIP. Okay, so like I said in some of my other videos, if you all don't remember, I do not bake my face. I do just take an excessive amount of Benefit setting powder in the color honey to set my face and then it, I'm gonna say like five to ten minutes later I'll just buff it out which you will see in this video but like I said I don't bake I just blend out while I am waiting to buff out my powder I'm just gonna go ahead and put my lashes on I'm using the Ardo lashes in the number chic 106 and I also use my dark Ardo lash glue and I just apply this with my hand I do not know how I got this good at it y'all and even then there's still sketchy days don't ask but this is just how I apply my lashes I want y'all to get an up close view I use a thin line of glue and then I very delicately apply with my hands I start from the middle and then I adjust and then I press it down from the middle to the end and I make sure that inner corner is not too close to the corner of my actual eye because my eye waters or anything like that that lash is coming off okay I just snap if you guys didn't hear it coming off so make sure you try to apply from the middle put it at the end where you'd like it and make sure it doesn't come too close to your inner corner oh and for my base for my lashes I use my Lancome mascara Every time you see me, bet you know my bitch is dying. Love a nigga swag, keep her coming all the time. When and got a new whip and I had to make it shine. Chasing after hoes, nigga, I don't have the time. Money's on my mind. Niggas wanna hate and that is fine. Niggas only hit, I'm in my prime. Better get up. Okay, as you can see, like I said, it is time to buff out that powder. And I'm just using an e.l.f. powder brush. And I like this because it just kind of looks like a buff brush. That's what I call it. It's my buffer brush. Not what it's really called. It's just a regular old powder brush. But hey, that's what I call it. So that's what the freak it is. So now I'm going to take my Boink Concealer in the shade 3 once again. And I'm going to use that to highlight my brows. What I do is I connect the inner corner of my eyes to sharpen up that eyeshadow. And if I have on liner, it sharpens up my liner as well. See everything I got I had to work for My grass is always greener so it's turf war And maybe that's the reason that she flirt more Got me floating in the pussy while she surfboard Only business and these bitches in my app room And they always blow it up whenever I'm gone Book a blunt and roll another arm in my zone And I'm always repping rally when I'm not No joke y'all I know this seems silly But I just take the excess foundation off my stippling brush To blend out that brow bone highlight So it doesn't look too sharp it looks nice and natural and then it is time to highlight that face i use my urban decay naked trio highlighter in the color pyrite and i use my bh cosmetic fan brush to beat my face i love doing this i feel like it's a magical little brush it's so dense and it makes my highlight look so good it does not take me a lot of highlighter to get that super glow that i like to have so i'm absolutely in love with this brush and i'm in love with this highlighter look at that oh my gosh yes bae you look so cute so freaking cute and i just go ahead with that same little powder buffer brush whatever the heck you want to call it and i make sure i blend out that highlight i do not want it to be too sharp y'all i want it to look natural at the end of the day but i just you know blend it out blend it out but i always say blending is key don't be looking cray out here now I'm going to take a combination of my two blushes out of my makeup 
Revolution blush palette. It is the sugar and spice blush palette. So I just took those and I lightly put that on and then I took my big buff brush and I blended it out. I did not want it to be way too rosy. I do have a nice apple cheek so I do not have to worry about doing too much. And then I take my Lancome mascara primer and I put that on my bottom lashes so I can get those super spidery lengthy bottom lashes and I'm going to go over that with an actual Lancome mascara as well. For the stars, I got a full clip. Got them head over heels, that's a full flip. And I'm always going hammer, that's a cool kit. That's Tim Mallon, jazz concert, I've been snapping. Drop your girl and she been spazzing. She a tripping, I've been packing. She mad cause I'm fresh on sight, had to flex. Alright, y'all, so I'm going in with one of my Sephora lip liners, and it's in the shade 5. And I do not know how to pronounce this for some reason, but I think the shade of this lip liner is called Deep Aubergine. Aubergine? I don't know if I'm saying that right. But I'm going over with my NYX Liquid Suede in the color Vintage. And that is going to be how I finish up this awesome full face look for y'all. I love these NYX Liquid Suede. They are a bomb, okay? Freaking love this color too. Shouts to Amanda for showing me the light. And we are done, y'all. This look was amazing. I loved showing y'all this look. I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I enjoy it. Ugh, I'm just so into it. Make sure y'all subscribe if y'all want to see more looks from me. I am always being face for y'all. So definitely join the gang gang. Thumbs this video up and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Strings like a good talk, chilling with my dogs at the top, like I'm Woodstock. Think you number one, but you a target. I'm a good shot, good shot. See, people be thinking that this shit is easy when I be up working. When you busy sleeping, you trusting your girl, but with me, she be creeping. Cause she love the way that these niggas is eating. See, I started from the bottom on stage, you retarded.